I like these blackbirds. I wonder how many people notice them. This is Leicester Square, which is kind of the heart of theatre land. It doesn't look very glamorous. This is where they have all the big kind of movie premieres here. <laughs> the Christmas market fitting up the middle of it at the moment. I am sure I have shown you London plane trees before. I let these ones, all the bark is coming off. But London plane did really, really well in the Industrial Revolution because it keeps picking off the, the bark and so all the pollution would kind of stick on the outside and fall off. So that's kind of all cleaned itself up. Here's one that's kind of pre-flicking stuff off. That probably flick. The bits of these will flick off. Like that. And, uh, and this is called the London Plate. And you get these wonderful kind of little seed balls hanging there, which sometimes kind of look like Christmas decorations at this time of year. And London is littered with these. So everybody needs a place to think. That's what it says here. I decided to go to the portrait gallery this morning because last week, or maybe the week before I'm losing count, I went to Tate Britain and I was looking at a lot of kind of British painters and it's about the painters there. So, so the curatorial choice is about the painters. And there seem to be an awful lot of portraits of very smug families, rich families, saying, look how smug we are. <laughs> look how rich we are. And I came away feeling slightly depressed, so I thought I'd go to the portrait gallery to see what happens there. And I think the conclusions I come from is it depends on who's paying for the, for the portrait. And if it's not, if it's the artist doing it, then the artist is really looking for the soul of the person they are doing the portrait of. And, and they're far more interesting. Once somebody's paying, <laughs> <laughs> then the painting changes and if it's being paid for by a city corporation or a government or something like that it becomes very very pompous and uh, and also yeah when you go back to look at the really ain't old paintings like Queen Elizabeth the first it's all about power it's about power it's making yourself look big and important and there was one room with um, all the members of the Kit Kat Club which is a kind of 17th 18th century gentlemen's club and they're all wearing the same wig and somehow they all look the same as well they've probably been painted by the same artist so uh, yeah i think portraiture really depends on on many different things and i think once someone is paying for it <laughs> then all sorts of different things come into play it depends on how you want to be seen rather than how somebody sees you <laughs> Now this was a temporary exhibition by Angelica Akunyili Crosby called The Beautiful Ones and these are uh, paintings of children who were born after a particular moment and so these are children that were not expected to be and I really loved how all these kind of images from newspapers and photographs have been kind of woven into the dress uh, but I found it kind of echoed in this fabulous painting of uh, Queen Catherine Poe's Henry VIII's sixth and last wife and I love that kind of pattern it's kind of two-dimensional thing it's a very similar kind of thing going on there I think and this looks so like a giant photograph uh, and it's obviously drawn from a photograph but look what happens when you get in really really close you can see it's actually kind of a painting or a drawing even almost in very fine detail you can't beat nature even if you're a queen look the top of the crown that cross has been carved absolutely perfectly but the wood has kind of dried out and moved over the centuries <laughs> made it look a little wonky i've been asked to do an illustration of um, florence nightingale as a heroine and pioneer of statistical data analysis believe it or not i'll tell you all about it i'll show you how to draw her in time so it was really nice to uh, come across this bust of her and just kind of get a feeling of her in uh, three dimensions well i'm waiting to cross here in the strand and you can see there's a little red man saying don't cross oh <laughs> that's why <laughs> but Something strange has happened here. Normally it goes to a little green man, but look, we've got these kind of uh, gender symbols, which means anyone can cross. That's different. <laughs> you know, when you fancy a Big Mac, only a Big Mac will do. Well, this is walking over the Jubilee Bridge, which is a, a, a walkway, but it's all been attached to the Hungerford Bridge, which I suddenly realised goes into Charing Cross Station, and so is also the Charing Cross Bridge, which Monet painted about 100 years ago. 
In fact, if you look right across there, uh, this is Cleopatra's Needle, which was brought home by Nelson after the Battle of the Nile, where we beat the French, hooray! <laughs> and this is kind of spoils of war from ancient Egypt. And there's a kind of a podium around the bottom, and I bet that's where Monet sat and painted. And this is the South Bank Centre, and this is the Royal Festival Hall, which was built for the Festival of Britain in 50-something, right about when I was born, 1950-something. And all sorts of stuff has happened here. So I've got a meeting here a bit later. Um, Society of Authors is closing down its building, and so we're having our meetings in different places. Oh, the wind, I haven't got my uh, windshield today. So I thought I'd spend a bit of time at this Christmas market. I do love fancy light bulbs, very hipster. You have to be mad to do that. <laughs> we got that going on there, look. <laughs> the cranes building on this side. I love it. Graffiti or art? This is global warming in action. How useless is that? There was a time I would have died if I had found a place like this to come skateboarding. This is my friend James. He's just opening the door. It's the secret door to the secret drawing room. Where we are going to have our meeting. I've never seen this door. Well, I've finished my meeting and now I'm rushing. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get run over. I'm rushing off to Waterloo Station to get the tube back to Paddington Station so I can catch my train home. And here we go. And here I am back home in my little studio. I have a terrible problem doing these videos because I keep thinking I've pressed record and then I find I haven't and then I press stop and then when I look I find I've got masses and masses of me filming bits of my feet and the pavement and things like that. Anyway there were lots of little bits I wanted to show you which I didn't record. So thanks for watching and make sure you click that little button down there and subscribe to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and ring that bell when it comes up and you will be notified of new videos when I post them. In the meantime keep drawing, 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 practice 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 and watching my videos and stuff like that and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye